USA Warrior Stories is a not-for-profit organization designed to record, archive, and share videos of veteran stories to help veterans make a connection with one another and to help us all better understand their sacrifices for our freedoms. My name is Amy Milheiser and I am the Community Engagement and Partnership Coordinator at the Northport VA and I am part of a community coalition for uh, veteran suicide prevention. So that coalition uh, wanted to increase connectedness between veterans and the agencies that serve them. So we came up with VetFest and it's basically 50 agencies here today that are veteran serving and are here just to engage veterans and connect them with services. We help the veterans transition back from military to civilian life at the VA Medical Center. We get them situated, set up with uh, primary care physicians, any kind of mental health, any kind of illnesses. We guide them, whether it's physical or mental, get them set up with the proper providers and um, get them used to coming to the VA. They deserve this. This is where they should be coming for their benefits. and that. Sometimes they don't know about all the benefits they're entitled to, so we like to educate them on that. Options for community living really is a, uh, a small, uh, ground-up organization that was created by a couple of social workers in response to the deinstitutionalization of a lot of the big state hospitals. We came out today to this uh, Vets Fest with just an opportunity to meet other organizations who are passionate about helping people. And I think the key is really to get on the green. I'm Diana Maslauskas. I have a center in Comac called Centered Mind, Body, Spirit. And that center is comprised of multiple organizations. The one I run is the Massage Approach, and we're in network with the VA Community Care. And Crystal is our acupuncturist, and she is in network with the VA Community Care. And we offer a lot of modalities, but those two specific ones, because they're in network, we can accommodate a lot of veterans and help them with whatever ailments they're struggling with. My name is Tabitha Robbins, and I'm a U.S. Navy veteran and a Veterans Outreach Specialist at Central Nassau Guidance. We provide one-on-one -on -one peer support to local veterans and their families. We assist with dealing with the VA. We link veterans to services in our clinic, and we, we help them find resources available to them. I've done everything from assist a veteran from being in trouble with the DMV to just finding an um, auto mechanic. We offer different services here at Palomine. We have a Fall in Friday event every Friday from 10 to 11, and it's a drop-in event where you can come in, learn about the horses, see the property, and just spend some time in a nice, peaceful environment. We have a volunteer program. Our volunteer program, we wouldn't be able to run without our volunteers. So any type of special skill sets that you have, we would love to have you come down and we welcome you. Federation organization has a mobile opioid, mobile opioid substance use bus. They go out in the community, we got, they got a nurse on board, and uh, we got a doctor, and we help people in the community. If they, in the street, we meet them, they'll interview them, they'll, they'll help them get, on some, get treatment that they need. I'm the Community Outreach Specialist for Northwell Health's Military Liaison Services and we do uh, pretty much 360 care for anything you can think of veterans needs. We help out with employment opportunities, we help navigate career opportunities within Northwell and access that network. We also help with appointments for all their health care needs. The new service that we have besides exceptional care and making a, all of their health care needs met, we also have veterans service line as well so that we can connect them to all of their benefits in the VA and make sure they're connected in the community as well. Hi, my name's John, grateful veteran, grateful sober ambassador for the Warrior Ranch. A lot of camaraderie, a lot of gratitude, sarcasm, uh, laughter. It's a place where you don't fit in, you'll fit in. We'll get you out there at the horses, work with them, they'll work with us. A lot of handshakes, hugs, phone numbers swapping and uh, connections to keep uh, everybody above ground and happy. Hi, my name is Jason Mayo and I work for Thrive Recovery Community Centers. It's a safe, sober place for people to come and hang out. Uh, you don't have to be in recovery to take advantage of the services. It's peer-led and peer-run, which means everybody that works there is in recovery. We have workshops and we have classes at all the centers, things like meditation, yoga, art therapy, 
uh, journaling. We have centers in Westbury, Hop Hog, and West Hampton Beach. And we're really trying to get more involved with the veteran community because we feel it's such a really underserved community. My name is uh, Rich Delasso. I am the outreach coordinator for the Supportive Services for Veteran Families program at the Economic Opportunity Council of Suffolk. Uh, the SSVF program is a federally funded program and we work with veterans that are either homeless or on the verge of homelessness uh, toward either getting or maintaining sustainable housing. Uh, the best we could do is physically get out there, make the services known, uh, make sure people know about us and um, you know, extend that helping hand, have them reach out one way or another. My name is Alex and I'm a former U.S. Marine. I did four, four years from 18 to 2022. I was in avionics. Uh, I came back to get my start at Suffolk Community College, using my, my education benefits after getting out. Now I'm studying business administration and now I'm moving into avionics administration. And I'm out here, I work at the Veterans Resources Center for Suffolk Community College. We help other veterans who don't know what they're doing or what kind of benefits they have for college, who want to get a fresh start and like chase their educational goals. So what we do is we help them with their benefits, we explain it to them, and we help them find their new beginning to college as a civilian with the veteran community. So my name is Alexandra Checkers and I'm representing Yes Community Counseling Center. Uh, we're a nonprofit agency serving Nassau and Suffolk County and we offer substance misuse counseling. Uh, so we offer a variety of services to everybody. We're not veteran specific, but of course we do welcome our veterans, especially as they transition back home. So we offer individual counseling, group counseling, support services, uh, connection to services, case management, you name it, we do it. Um, so we're really here as a resource to help veterans. What we do is we help veterans as well as civilians get housing ready. Um, so what that means is we focus on these foundational building block skills of financial literacy, education assistance, and securing employment uh, and pursuing careers to help folks be successfully housed and stay successfully housed. My name is Dimitri Honorat. I'm a U.S. Army veteran. I served in Iraq. Uh, did two tours there. Also do, did one tour in Kosovo. Uh, I've been at Beacon House for the last two years. Uh, the mission of Beacon House is to uh, keep the veterans out of homelessness um, and to provide a better life for them and a better future. I help veterans out in the community so they don't have to be homeless or in, in one of our shelters. If they're having any financial issues, I help them out. I also try to refer them to our legal services uh, if they need that and other services that are available through Beacon House. Uh, I'm Casey Lancaster. I work with uh, Forge Health VFR. We're a veteran first responder oriented uh, mental health company and we do substance abuse as well. And we provide mental health substance abuse services to veterans and first responders. We're in network with uh, the VA, so through the community care network, they can refer out to us if veterans need help. Hi, my name is Jay. I am with the um, CEC Healthcare, which is a company that provides medical, dental, and psychological support to people in need. Quite simply, we they accept a lot of insurances, but if the person does not have insurance, we work out we work our way around it usually. If, 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 if we, sometimes, I mean, when they have no income, we have even provided free health care, but we do what we can. Viscardi Center has a veterans employment program that assists veterans to find employment. It's a 100% free program for any veteran throughout Long Island, New York City, and the, uh, the boroughs, as well as Westchester. We have um, over 70 years of experience helping veterans to find employment. So if you're looking for work, We'd be more than happy to provide that service for you, again, free of charge. For more information on the Veterans Service Organization seen in this video, please look in the description below.